guys. You don't see here, back again. A couple quick uh, tips, I guess, just for your first time out with um, DR10, getting into the drag scene. Like I said before, and some of the things that you should probably change out. So, got a couple um, items here to show you guys. All right, so, like I said before, um, first thing you wanna do, honestly, is you wanna program or calibrate the ESC, because um, it doesn't come 100% you know, 100% power out of the box from the factory. So I'm gonna show you guys how to um, recalibrate the ESC. Let's have a little battery here just to show you guys. It has XD60s uh, on it, but I have an adapter for the Dean, for the T-plugs. Just, just for showing you guys how to um, calibrate it for purposes. Normally I don't run these connectors. I mean, you can run whichever you like, but it's just for demonstration purposes right now, all right? So I got the battery plugged up. I'm gonna have your radio here. Now you wanna have your EPA, your throttle and brake EPA to 100%, which will be 10, which is this knob here on this side, all right? So it's on 100%, right? Turn the radio on. Now with the car, I see the switch here it has a little knob in the front, it's like the set button. You hold that button tur while turning on the power and keep holding it till it's flashing and then you enter into the calibration um, settings. All right, so I'm gonna bring the camera close real quick. All right, so I got the camera on it, so I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. So the radio's on, again, right here. Throttle EPA is on 10, 100%. And now I'm holding the set button. I'm turning the car on. And the ESC stop flashing like that, you release it. Hear the beeps, see the green light, all right. Now you leave it in neutral, you don't touch the, uh, let's see, so you don't press the throttle. All right, don't press it, and you hit the set button, your one beep, and you go full throttle, and then you press it again, two beeps, release, full brake, press set button again, release, three sec, now it's arms. So now you're back to running mode, all right, and now it's calibrated, so you should have 100% throttle now, 100% power, and you should be good, good to go. That's the first tip I would say that you should do when, before you even run this car, is to calibrate it, just like that, all right? Second thing I would say is the the DVC. It's Usually it's it's pretty high. Um, let me see, I'll see if we can get, I'll demonstrate that for you. So you see the, see that? DBC. So basically what that is, it tries to correct the steering when the car, you take off and the car kicks out the steering, counter stairs, try to keep it straight. But sometimes it comes just too sensitive and it basically causes the car to be shaking real bad. So I'm gonna go, I had the, the, the receiver box loosened up a little bit. All right, so this is where you go. Right in here, the receiver box. And there's a little button in there. It says gain. I'm not sure if I can show it to you. Uh, but it's right there. It'll say gain on it. All right. That's where you want to go. You want to press that button. So I would say get like a, I have a long little body pin I use. So I get in there so you can press it. So um, I think it goes to eight flashing lights. Um, at eight flashing light, that is off, I believe. I think seven will be the least um, assistance. And one will be the total assistance. This will be way too much. So you just press the button and count the flashes. I didn't count, but I think that was three. It's gonna go down to one, then it's gonna go back up. So that's two flashes. Next, see, I'm gonna show you guys. So right now it's super sensitive. All right, let me see if I can show you guys the flashing. So I'm gonna press it right now. Uh, you probably couldn't see it, but it did flash. So right now, I mean, it's it's super. You can see that. It's just super sensitive right now. All right, so I'm gonna press it again. That should be eight flashes. And now it's turned off. No assistance at all. Let me show you again. 
Half auto, no assistance whatsoever. Eight flashes is zero, all right? So what I do is I just do one from there. And it's a little bit, it's barely anything, all right? You hear it, but it doesn't really do too much. But I will tell you this, and then you just turn the, uh, the car off and you get to go. But I will tell you this, um, when you do, if you do the uh, NPRC drag, you know, the races with the spec class stuff, um, you do not run DVC at all. It's not something you run. So, but just first time out trying to, you know, just drive the car, learn the car, you know, I'll leave it on one, setting one, or maybe, I mean, number seven, or maybe number six. Nothing too much other than that, because it's going to be just way too much going on. Um, just to get you to learn how to drive the car. All right, so that's another thing I would do. Turn that all the way down for the most part, either off or like on number seven, which is like very minimum assistance, all right? Um, so other than that as well, like I said, um, you can go to the tires. So these stock tires are pretty decent. You don't have to change the front, you can just change the rear if you want. So we would just do the whole thing as a matching set. You definitely want to change these tires out. I mean, well, I would say just run it first, just get a feel for it, but then you know change the tires out. Um, I have a few here. I'm gonna show you guys. So, so these. So I'm running StarTech rims. These are StarTech rims. You just see these properly. All right, StarTechs. Um, it's a complete set. Now I'm running right now. These are the J Concept hotties, I believe, in the front right now. And then these are the raw speeds in the back. Um, a lot of people just do like um, J Concepts all the way around or the same brand all the way around. So that's what these are right here. I um, mean, also, these are the J Concept hotties and these are the hotties rears as well. These are green compound. They come in gold and different type of compounds as well. So different surfaces, you know, different compounds and work differently. So. There's a lot of testing and tuning for your area, your tracks, you know, that sort of thing. Um, again, these are not, I'm trying out these um, this year. I mean, other compounds, but this is the first that I'm going to try out. I said these are the um, raw speeds in the back, and this is the J Concept um, hotties in the front. All right. Let's put it to the side. So, again, so you want to get some tires. All right. You don't have to do all, all of them. You can just do the rears. All right. And also, like I said, I'm gonna throw like a 24 tooth pinion in there. These are the gears that I run. I'm sure you can see it, but this is the 24. Um, if you focused up or not, but anyways, the 24 tooth pinion that I run, just leave it with the 20 with the 87 spur and just give it a try, guys. Just give it a try and uh and just run it and see you know how you like it and go from there. Um also you use fuel tubing, alright. There's a little fuel tubing, you can see it. Now, what I do is I put it in the front of the car, in the shocks on the outside. So what you do is, you can do different things. You get like a straw and slip it on there or whatever, but I would take the shock off. I'll take the shocks off. Um, and I would slide these up on the bot through the bottom on the shock shaft and then re uh, reinstall the, the shock um, Boot whatever back on and then bolt it back in that way. So when you're you, you'll see it when you, when you drive these cars and Again, sorry for the camera moving when you're driving And you go to brake what happens is sometimes it dives and a lot of times It's gonna spin out for the most part. It's gonna kick out and spin around It's gonna be pretty pretty wild the first time out So what happens is when you put those spaces in there measure them out make sure the same on each side It would pretty much stop evenly it wouldn't do all that sliding and twisting around. So you just stop pretty evenly. It makes it a lot better to drive with the braking. Um, also what I do is I remove the front shock shaft. I mean the shock uh, spacers in the front. I remove those. And you can play around with the rears. Um, I've taken them out before. It all depends on how you run in your car. But I've taken them out all the way on all of them. Then you can tune them. If your car is pulling left or right, you could probably put a shock shaft. So if your car is you hit the gas and you take off the line and it pulls to the left you want to put some spacers all right to pretty much get it to go straight some spacers on the right side right rear try to straighten up a little bit or like i said the other way you could do it um what else what else also yeah definitely get yourself some blue loctite guys blue loctite 
store anywhere. I mean, Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, hobby shop, you get them everywhere. Um, this, as far as slipper goes, um, one of my cars is all the way locked. One of them, it's, um, you know, it, it is, it does slip a little bit, I, uh, let it slip. So it depends on what your setup is, what you plan on doing with it, you know, that good stuff. Like I said, also check the steering um, linkage. So you can, so you can see if it's, um, if it's loose by just removing, sorry for the video, I hope it's not too long guys. Um, but you can remove this servo horn or just one of the linkage up top. Let's see if your, if the shaft moves freely. All right, let me do that real quick, just to show you guys. Just wanna give you some quick little tips. Um, I'm sure there's others out there. This is just stuff that I've, I have dealt with when I had mine for the first time. All right, so now this, I pretty much freed up the steering, so it's free. So this car does not have that problem. My first orange uh, DR10, what happened was when I you, 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 you steer to the left and then you release the steering wheel and it should go back to the zero position. Now mine would get stuck. So it kind of always stayed to the left or to the right and it went back to the zero position. So it was always binding up. It didn't, roll, it didn't move freely like this. So if it doesn't move free like this, again, you want to loosen up these two screws up here. All right. Um, and I believe there's two other screws in the front. I'm sorry, there's two other screws in the front to get this cover off. And then underneath has the um, steering crank. You just loosen up the screws a little bit because it's a little too tight. And it's going to be free. And then you're good to go. You won't have that problem. Um, and other than that, I mean, I think that's as much as I can remember at the moment as far as little tips to uh, get you going. Um, I'm going to tell you eventually. Oh, one more thing. The willy bar. So, let me tighten this down. So the willy bar, it comes set all the way down. So I actually put the willy bar on the middle. I don't put it on the top, put it in the middle. So all you do, it's a three hole adjustment, three position adjustment. If you can see right here, there's a screw right here. All right, you just take, a, I think it's a 2.5, and you just, um, there's another other side. You just loosen that up. So right now, I'm just loosening up right now. And then you can move it up to the second position, the second, the middle hole. And that way, you know, it, it, yeah, willy bar is not hitting the ground instantly once you hit the gas. All right, hold on, let me get it positioned. I mean, I find for me, it's, it's a good position to put the uh, willy bar in. It's worked pretty well for me. I mean, I'm sure there's other you know, other setups you can do and, you know, but that's just my experience with it. All right, try to get this screw out. It's fighting me, guys. All right. Yeah, so just loosen that screw up and just move the willy bar to the second position, guys, and that's about it. Pretty tight on there, guys. All right, here we go. All right, so got the screw out. I'll show you guys. So now, see the Willy Bomb moves pretty freely. It was all the way down like that. So I'll move it up one more. And then that's pretty much it. So I said, those little tips will probably help you out a little bit, get the car going a little better than how it comes out the box. And um, just uh, have fun, man. Definitely check your motor temperatures. Um, I run mine on 2S and 3S, but um, 2S would be great starting out. But it's really a 2S car. I just run whatever. Um, so yeah, 2S, I run a um, 100C LiPo, but there's, I mean, there's a lot stronger batteries out there. Just run what you have, you know? You don't need to get the most, you know, expensive batteries. Just just go out there, have fun. Um, and, man, enjoy it, man. It's a great car to get into drag racing with. If you and a buddy, you know, pick up one, man, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty addictive. And get extra rear tires. You will need it. You will burn those things up.
Oh, also, eventually you may go with heavier diff uh, fluid. I mean, it probably ranges between 120 to like 500 um, K diff oil, uh, diff lube and stuff like that. So again, just do a little research and what works in your area. All right, again, sorry for a long video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.